Hey VA Buick, this is Black70 Buick, aka Chad. Um, posting this video up for those folks interested in the uh, 4L80 uh, transmission control unit or TCU depending on your your preferred uh, acronym. I've uh, just been working on this for quite some time. Uh, one of the VA Buick members already had bought, and, or bought uh, a version of this, just real simple. Um, and I've sub subsequently actually changed to something a little bit more uh, simpler to use and more advanced and there's a lot more support to it um, and that's a um, Arduino um, development kit and they're pretty cheap so there's one here and then there's one here um, and if those that are interested in electronics or just generally the uh, the growing trend uh, of making things and whether it's 3D printing or whatever um, make zine is a great uh, resource. They have all kinds of fun stuff. Anyway, um, <clears throat> there's my code, by the way. Go ahead and walk you through this uh, real quick. So, it looks like a bird's nest, um, only because I'm prototyping. Now, I do have an actual functional version of the older uh, TCU I made for my Riviera, I don't know, several years ago. Um, it has an uh, LCD display. Um, LED lights for uh, determining what gear sequence you're in. Actually, it's got an eight-segment display, not just singular um, LEDs. Um, but uh, right now, um, I decided to go ahead and go into more advanced stuff, and uh, the Arduino sets a little bit easier than writing an assembly. And uh, if you're a purist, you know, sure, I should write an assembly, but I'm not doing that. So. Uh, plus, it's fun and easy to ra rapidly prototype with Arduino. So, what is Arduino? It's again, it's a development kit. It actually uses a uh, chip, which is an Atmel chip. I talked about this in my original post. Uh, <clears throat> why do you see two Arduinos here? Well, this one is actually uh, my signal generator. I'm just using it for simulating um, RPM or miles per hour. So, I have actually two pinouts here going into this unit. With this was actually um, programs for acting like a TCU, so it's dedicated to doing the transmission stuff. Um, so it's driving this display. I actually have it um, driving and writing to the computer, just simulated data. Um, again, it's it's actually doing all the calculations. Okay, so this is just simply pulsing at certain rates for the RPM, etc. And this unit here is actually doing all the calculations and driving the LEDs and so forth. So, <clears throat> um, I just output it to the uh, PC just for reference. Uh, plus it's quick and easy to look at. So, okay, here's the layout. This guy's my signal driver, we talked about that. Um, I have several buttons here, the LEDs. Um, this first LED is actually simulating uh, solenoid one and this is the second one, solenoid 2, and then this is the torque converter clutch solenoid basically simulation. Um, these are my up down shift buttons. See that is actually all off is second gear and that is third gear. This is fourth gear with a delay to TCC and then back down. So once again first gear or reverse if you're uh, going to go into reverse. Second gear, third gear, fourth gear delay TCC okay um, these first two buttons here are used to increment uh, the um, oscillator so those are not really part of the this uh, Arduino this uh, third button is actually my wide open throttle simulator I mean this would be uh, according to my later discussions, probably just going to go ahead and use a throttle position sensor, which is a varistor, just varies voltage. Um, and this uh, last button here, I'm not actually using it, it's just there's nothing connected to it, as you can kind of see here. So um, that's the actual screen layout that I would, would see in my car right now. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, it looks like I'm, I'm right above the 3300 RPM, which I hard-coded into the the uh, program to automatically shift. So let me back down the uh, gear selection here. 
and then since I'm above 3300 RPM and that's the, I mean I can change 3300 RPM or build an interface to increment to shift at different points but uh, just going to demo this so if I'm wide open uh, throttle where my foot's all the way down on the pedal you'll see these lights toggle through the gears so that's first gear second gear third gear fourth gear for TCC clutch um, <clears throat> so since that was a steady above 3300 rpm it just automatically sequenced through all the gears but it shouldn't sequence that fast um, well actually it might be close because you're going to drop rpm once you shift gears um, and there is a little bit of a, a delay purposely built in there when you're wide open throttle so in case you are um, spinning your tires or breaking your tires loose a little bit you got a little bit of time before it'll engage uh, the next gear and that's in wide open throttle mode now uh, some of the later discussions were about uh, line pressure now my first iterations including the iteration of the TCM in my car I'm not even using the pressure solenoid so uh, that means that full line pressure is always applied and it is my understanding that that um, uh, is 1200 RPM so there was a question about well, what if you shift into uh, first at idle or you know what's what's the actual shock it's actually not that bad um, I had a uh, video of that several years ago when I first implemented that but um, I don't know where that video went and the car is in the air right now because um, I'm working on the serpentine setup so Anyway, uh, going back to the pressure control solenoid, so I've actually implemented it, and this is version 10 that I'm demoing. You see the, uh, it's actually supposed to say uh, 60%, that's a duty cycle. Um, there's discussion about the frequency, I put that in the post, but we're at 60% uh, duty cycle for the PCS. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you now, wide open throttle, that logic. I'm going to push that button down, you'll see the duty cycle go up to 100%, which is effectively um, forcing the PCS to full line pressure. And it's kind of counterintuitive. So full line pressure means that the PCS is off. In other words, it's not grounded. So 100% means 100% of the time there's no ground to the PCS, and therefore it's not restricting any any flow or increasing pressure. So um, let me go ahead and back this down. paper out of the way <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna hold this down and we'll see that the duty cycle goes up oops I blocked my own lights here uh, the other thing you'll notice is this DVM is not entirely responsive I mean it is it's got some uh, delay built into it so you slowly saw it increment and it shouldn't increment that slow uh, in real time I do have an oscilloscope to really map all this out but it's a single trace oscilloscope and it's kind of wonky right now and I really haven't had the time to pull it out of the garage and set it up but I'm pretty comfortable that it'll it'll it snaps back to uh, 100 uh, percent and even then it's uh, even at wide open throttle even a little bit of modulation shouldn't be uh, a big deal so let's see what else can I show you Oh, when I finally do implement this thing, or actually put it in the car, um, these uh, Arduinos are awesome in, this, in, in the sense that there's so much support. They have things like these. These are this is a relay board. Um, so there's foam on it right now, just anti-static foam for packaging. You know, there's there's a box for it. But uh, these plug right in. So your your pinout. Um, there's four relays there, uh, and they go right into the pinout of the actual Arduino. So I have an extra Arduino here, just to kind of give you an idea. And these things are dirt cheap. These are like $15. So you can imagine the possibilities you can do. I mean, you can do a full uh, display like that on the more advanced versions of these Arduinos. Or you can do something simple like this, driving the liquid crystal display. So. Uh, with all these boards, you just simply stack them. 
go to your local electronic store, buy a project box, and uh, put it in a box and put it in your car. So uh, that's the beauty of these Arduinos. Uh, there's probably really nothing else on the market like that. I mean, you can go to the more advanced technology, um, which I do have. I mean, the Intel Edison is something that's it's a microcomputer. It's more powerful than your cell phone, believe it or not. But uh, it, this board is just a breakout board. This is the actual processor and all the fun stuff with Wi-Fi. Everything that's in your cell phone and a lot more, but way too much uh, horsepower for driving a transmission so anyway um, I hope you guys find this uh, this thread interesting so this is version 10 you saw a bit of the demo it actually is pretty darn responsive considering um, oh by the way I didn't talk about temperature there's a temperature I didn't I didn't put in the uh, units which is actually Fahrenheit and it is on the uh, computer output in Fahrenheit not a big deal to add, but anyway, so that's kind of one of those things, and as I've gone through this, I'm running, realizing I'm running out of uh, space, but I guess in reality, I'm not necessarily concerned about um, MPH or RPM and all of that. I really should probably main, mainly just display what gear I am in, reverse drive, neutral, park, whatever. I don't know. We'll see, but... Uh, the core of it is switching these solenoids represented by these lights in the right order uh, with the right modulation 60 percent or higher and um, eventually I'll implement like I was discussing the actual automatic automatic uh, feature it's just too much fun shifting with uh, just the push buttons but I'm just gonna do it for a challenge anyways Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, we'll see some more posts soon, hopefully. Thanks.